Sophia, and I'm a high schooler living in California. For the past two years, I've been making this book full of English sayings you can say in daily situations. With your child, with your parents, or with your friends, these are just any sayings that many Americans or people that speak English use on a daily basis. 그럼 저와 함께 영어 표현을 배우러 가자요! Today, we're going to be learning about expressions about washing your face. 세수 할때 표현을 쓰는 거를 알려드릴게요. First, you can say, let's wash your face. Follow me. Let's wash your face. Let's wash your face. 세수 하자. You can say, pull back your hair. Pull back your hair. So it doesn't get wet. Follow me. Pull back your hair. You can also say, Roll up your sleeves because you don't want your sleeves to get wet. So you say, roll up your sleeves. Follow me. Roll up your sleeves. Next is, wash your neck too. Follow me. Wash your neck too. Because you have to wash your neck too, not just your face. You can also say, be careful not to get your clothes wet. Follow me. Be careful not to get your clothes wet. 옷안 젖게 조심해. Be careful not to get your clothes wet. You can also say, close your eyes tightly. 눈꼭 담아. Since you don't want soap to get in your eyes either. 눈꼭 담아. Close your eyes tightly. You can also say, rub the soap and make foam. 비누를 문질러서 거품을 내. Rub the soap and make foam. Now, when you're the child talking to your parent, you can say, my eyes sting. So if the soap got into your eyes, you can say, my eyes sting. You can also replace sting with other adjectives like, my eyes burn. They all mean basically the similar thing. Just like, my eyes are sore. Follow me, my eyes are sore. So you can say this when your eyes are tagawa sting, burn, or sore, any of those different words. You can also say, the soap got into my eyes. Follow me, the soap got into my eyes. 비누가 눈 안에 들어갔어. You can tell your child, rinse with running water. Running water is 흐르는 물. So rinse, wash your face with running water. Follow me, rinse with running water. Great job. You can also say, wipe your face. Wipe your face. Or taco. And then you can hand them a towel and say, here is the towel. Follow me. Here is the towel. Yogi, suwon. You can also say, look, your clothes got wet. Your clothes got wet. Oshi chojonne. Your clothes got wet. Follow me. Your clothes got wet. You can also ask your child, Is the water warm? 물이 따뜻해? Follow me. Is the water warm? Another additional term that I can teach you is 수도꼭지 is called a faucet. Follow me. Faucet. So when you're turning on water, you're turning on the faucet to get the 흐르는 물, which I told you earlier is running water. 오늘 공부 잘 했나요? 영어를 배우려면 많이 말을 하고 많이 듣고 자꾸 repeating을 해야 돼요. 그래야지 잘 머리 안에 쏙쏙 들어가요. Well then, see you guys in the next video. Bye!